Rüstung geschichtet. gentlemen as you can see sneak peek number one is here for the august update eight days remain in this month and what a way to kick things off tier four cable and tier three strife i hate the fact that strife is always lingering behind he's always a tier behind cable but i am very happy that this time that cable is getting a uniform strife is not only getting a uniform but he's also getting a tier three upgrade hopefully they bring him up to today's standards so he can actually compete because Strife has always been a PvP character. So him being trapped at tier three means they're really gonna have to tune up the damage to make him a force to be reckoned with for timeline battle and other world arena because I don't really see much in the way of PvE value in Strife unless they completely overhaul the character. However, I will be dissecting him and trying him in as many different game modes as possible. Gotta say, I love the new look for Cable. Kinda gives me Metal Gear Solid vibes. Also, for this trailer, who's the idiot that decided to send these five grunts when they know that Strife is coming? <laughs> like, if I was on that team, I ain't going outside, bro. They say Strife is coming, you gonna give me freaking water gun to go shoot at this man? Like, stop it, bro. That's a suicide mission, not a chance. Anyways, trailer looks really good. I know some of you guys are gonna say this is the best trailer ever, but nah, I'm still gonna have to give it to Jean Grey. The Jean Grey tier four sneak peek, I think still, eclipse this one okay this one is really really good i think this might be the longest sneak peek we've ever gotten two minutes and 44 seconds yeah this is a whole ass movie trailer and i'm pretty sure there is more but i really want to say whoever designed this sneak peek you guys did a fantastic job and i hope the update reflects the quality of this trailer because the trailer looks fantastic everything from the voice acting to the music to the action everything is just top notch and to think we're getting quality trailers like these for a game that's over eight years old is quite shocking now over on the forums this is what they had to say the mutant with omega level telekinetic abilities and his evil clone has returned check out the new looks and abilities of the superhero and the supervillain who resemble each other thank you so it looks like we're going to be getting three sneak peeks at most hopefully they don't short changes and only give us two but either way i'm interested to see how this goes for the simple fact that we've waited so long long for strife to get a uniform i knew they were going to reach into 
Peter back and create something unique for this guy in terms of how he looks since in the comics Strife pretty much always looks like this and I'm curious to see how strong they're gonna make him at tier 3 I would say they need to make him a little bit stronger than Gore so he has some staying power for PvP because his leadership and everything about him is pretty much just PvP so great leadership for him they don't really gotta change it maybe just increase the amount of uh, debuff removal that he gives you so instead of 12 seconds maybe 15 seconds his 4 star passive is amazing immunity to fracture and incapacitation with 50% damage reduction is huge one of the only flaws in Strife's kit is the fact that he cannot heal so I think they need to give him a pretty big heal I wouldn't say passive healing but definitely a 30 or a 40% heal something like that would be good um, besides that he has incapacitation and fracture on pretty much all of his skills if he doesn't have incapacitation he has fracture if he doesn't have fracture he has incapacitation and some of the skills have both Strife is the character that introduced incapacitation and fracture to the game and he made him very very toxic for pvp he also has a v-pad on his third and fourth skill i'm very curious to see what they're gonna do for his skills this time around his tier 2 passive also gives him 80 percent chance to penetrate pretty much everything he's missing iframe ignore because when he was released it was not the iframe ignore meta so i think they definitely gotta do that they gotta add that to his kit damage accumulation is also one thing that i don't see in his kit here cable has that but he doesn't so they gotta put that in here as well i don't see them switching directions with strife and making him a pve character to any degree he's always been pretty mediocre for wall boss and stuff maybe they'll make him a little bit better there but i think his primary place is going to be in pvp i don't see a thanos situation happening here like farm with thanos becoming a pve god and i guess thanos is still good for pvp if you don't build them for pve but for strife i just see him primarily doubling down as a pvp character especially since he's at tier three or he's going to be at tier three he would be easily overshadowed by tier four characters if they made him a pve character so i don't see them doing that however in the case of cable this is where we have an interesting situation for the very first time cable when he gets a uniform usually impacts the alliance battle extreme meta now we have alliance battle legend as well however we have magneto who can do pretty much anything that you're going to be using cable for now cable is a superhero magneto is a super villain but for extreme alliance battle specifically the blast mail day it doesn't matter if you're a villain or a hero and magneto just got a new support character right there on the blast mail day to help him out so i'm curious to see how this is going to turn out especially when you consider the fact that if you look at the blast mail category cable is only going to really have cyclops and phil colson to help him out but phil colson only offers you five percent more damage to supervillain comparatively to mysterio and mysterio offers you 20 percent all attack as well so i don't really see that combination overpowering magneto especially when you consider the fact that magneto is is a self buffing leader now they could just make it so that cable hits way harder than magneto regardless of whether or not the support system is better for magneto versus cable but i just wanted to point that out usually when they design a uniform for cable they usually design him around him being amazing for alliance battle extreme however right now he has stiff competition so they got to do a little bit more work this time around to make him i would say significantly better than magneto because Magneto has multiple days for ABX and ABL that you use him whereas Cable will not have as many options or as many days so they're gonna really have to reach into their back and do something amazing for him here now he has a lot of things going for him like his tier 2 passive his 4 star passive they're both great one of them gives him penetration let me just show you guys so this one right here 85% chance to penetrate everything now Cable's never been a PvP character he came in in the penetration era Quicksilver has this, Scarlet Witch has this, Strife has it, Cable has it, but um, after this, they just kind of stopped giving out these amazing passives. But besides that, his tier 2 passive is also pretty amazing. Part of the reason why he's great for ABX is because of the fact that he has guaranteed critical rate. So you could slide him with a CTP of Rage in today's meta, and that would make him absolutely fantastic, regardless of which support character he's using him with, because he's going to trigger the Rage pretty consistently even if you're not using him with phil but you would be using him with phil anyways so really good passives for game modes where you need your rage to activate consistently he also has accumulation in his kit 
not the greatest 0.7 but it's never really slowed him down his healing is not that great so they need to fix that and one thing that they definitely got to do for him this time around is change his fist skill they can keep it as an infinite chainable skill or whatever but make it so he can move around because one of the things that costs you points in abx and also can get you killed quite easily in a world boss legend is you standing in place and just firing off this infinite beam because enemies can now penetrate as opposed to previously like back in the old days you could just sit like this all day every day and just keep on blasting into infinity but that's not the case these days okay the boss is gonna have abilities that can penetrate invincibility damage immunity etc and then if you're just standing around like that chaining your skill for alliance battle extreme or alliance battle legend you're losing points because surter is hitting you the fire is burning you and then the meteor is dropping on your head so your evasion meter is going down so you're losing a whole bunch of points that way so they really gotta have to change him up maybe give him more quick burst damage instead of relying on him just chaining his skills into infinity besides that these are the tags that he has leadership pops up pretty often in world boss legend weapon master from time to time you'll see it in a couple different stages and against gore on stage 65 to 69 you can use mutant superheroes most people have gotten through here already using professor x or storm but having more options ideally more tanky options would be nice because professor x and storm are both very fragile so here's the hoping cable is not as fragile he's never been a tank but if he could actually come in and do 65 to 69 against gore and not be at risk of dying quite easily that would be really nice because the stage right here as you can see allows him to participate curious to see what they're going to do leave me your thoughts in the comments are you excited for cable and strife and what do you expect from these characters like i said i expect strife to be more of the same so just pvp hopefully godly and then cable for the first time ever he's going to have some competition for the one day that he usually dominates and that is the blast mail day in extreme alliance battle because magneto currently exists but magneto is also a seasonal uniform and it's coming up on the one year mark this christmas so maybe they don't have a problem replacing him